What is a boss fight without a boss bar? Nothing. So let's create our own boss bar. First we create an boss bar class and now a lot of methods to make creating a boss bar easy and fast. Also a hash map for storing our boss bars. We start with a method to get a bar from an ID stored in the hash map. If no such bar exists we send a message and return null. Further we create a method to set the progress of a boss bar. For this we need the get bar method as well as a help method which convert the percent input in a valid progress for the boss bar between 0 and 1. With this we can set the bar's progress. To save a bar we use a name spaced key, so we should be able to create one. This method is able to do this, but we have to check the ID we use as a key cause the key may only contain numbers and letters. After all this preparation we now can create our boss bars, for this we create three methods for easy creation. The first one needs the most inputs an ID, title, color, and so on. The second method uses the title as ID, and the third method set a default value for the flags. Further we add some setter methods for the boss bar. First one to change the title of a boss bar. Another one to change the color of a boss bar. One to set the style. And methods to add bar flags and remove bar flags. All these methods change the boss bar attached to the input ID. Now we need to be able to add players to the boss bars so the player can see the created bar. For this we make a few methods. One to add an array of players to the bar. Another to add players to every boss bar attached to an ID in an array. One to add an array of bars to one player. Now one to add a list of players to an array of bars. And finally add a method to add all online players to an array of bars. Now we do the same for removing players from bars. First a method to remove a player array from a bar. Again one to remove an array of players from an array of bars. One for removing players from one bar and a method to remove a list of players from an array of bars. Finally, a method to be able to remove all online players. As last methods, we need two methods to edit the ID list, one to delete bars, and one to delete all boss bars. So now I tell you how to use this boss bar class. To create a boss bar, you can use one of the create methods depends on how much information your boss bar needs. After you created a boss bar, you have access to it from everywhere by using the boss bar class. You only have to know the ID of your boss bar. So you can add players, remove players, change attributes of the boss bar, and change the fill percent, all by using the static methods of the boss bar class. Now let's finish the boss fight.